Hey, what's going on guys? It's Panda here and we are back for some more Shuffle today. And today I am feeling rather happy, rather joyful. And that is because I just got my brand new beanie in the mail today. And let me tell you something about me and beanies. They do not pair together well. Um, so when I bought this one, I was like, I really hope this is going to uh, going to look good, and it does. So I've finally managed to um, find a beanie that works well on me, and I'm very happy because beanies are awesome. Well, they always looked awesome on other people, and I was like, man, I wish beanies would work on me, but they don't. <laughs> and now they do, or at least one of them does. So I hope I never lose this one, otherwise I am going to be in serious trouble. Anyway. Let's get things ready then. Itsuki, can you get the mat from the bag? The mat? What are we doing, yoga? So we have to get enough space for everyone? Maybe we should have asked them to help us a little more. Sure, let's just go and interrupt them while they're getting changed. Excuse me, ladies, I don't hope you mind... I hope you don't mind that I'm looking at you naked while I'm asking you a question, but do you think you could come and help us set up, please? No, no, it's fine. You don't need to put any clothes on. Just, just come over. It's fine. No, don't worry about it. It's completely normal to be completely naked at the beach while everyone else is clothed. Somewhat. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. They sure don't make themselves useful now. That's right. You fucking... Jesus, look at these muscles. I mean, god damn. I seriously don't want to get into a fight with this guy. I mean, he's just holding them. He's like, ha ha, my muscles. Ha ha ha, muscles. Ha, buff. Ha, muscly. Ha ha ha, uh, muscles. Hey, Mabu, wait. Ha ha ha, catch me if you can, Shin-chan. I rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Never mind. Please don't come near us. <laughs> you just don't get it, do you, Rune? Huh? What? This many beauties at once. You won't find such luck anyone anywhere else on this beach. You probably won't find it anywhere in Japan. I see one, two, three, right behind you, and we don't even know them, Itsuki, so I'll have you know you are loaded with BS coming out of your mouth right now. Just blah, BS. If that's the case, we have to let them show themselves in their bathing suits as soon as possible. We can't even waste a minute or a second. We have to be more considerate of the others. Consider it. the others. Oh, wow! I realize it when I look around. This is a very popular beach, and there are plenty of people. But most of the guys are looking in our direction. To be exact, they're looking at the girls who went to the changing room. Do you get it now? Did you throw a chunk of meat to the pack of wolves? <laughs> <laughs> To protect them is our job, right, Mr. Knight? He slaps my back as if he's having fun. He's planning to make me do everything. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm prepared to keep it on the record. I swear, she's still going for the pinch of the butt. She's gonna pinch her butt. How many cam cameras did you bring anyway? Oh god. I brought the disposable one, the digital one, the single lens, and the 8mm. Just ask. He's a professional. What? Pervert? The sun is so bright. The breeze from the ocean cools down our burning skin. Our tired bodies are being embraced by a comforting sleepiness. Here. Mayumi, splash! Hey, Mayumi, looking good! Oh yeah! Wow! All the comfort and the embracing go away at that moment. I get a, I get up in a hurry and find my classmate standing by me with an empty bucket. I'm looking up but I hardly see any bumps on her chest, which is, in a way, amazing. 
Mayumi, what the heck are you doing? What do you think you're doing? We're on the beach. How could a guy just lie in the sand and get a tan? You scooped a bucket full of seawater just for that? To lie down on the beach and enjoy the sun is what people do on the beach too, you know? Come on. You think about the TPO? TPO? Kaid is exposing herself in a bathing suit. You should be checking her out from head to toe and hang out with her <laughs> all day while drooling. Drooling? Drooling. Oh, Kaid, put those hands down. I am supposed to be checking you out from head to toe. Then back up to head. And down to toe. Then middle. Up a little bit. Down a little bit. Up a bit. Stay there for about five minutes. Then back up to head. Mayumi-chan. There are plenty of beauties here today. Where is your response? Look at Midoriva kun He isn't wasting any time at all. Not even for a second is he alone. Huh? <laughs> I now realize I don't see him anywhere. Oh jeez. When I look around, I see a guy with glasses talking to every available girl. I think he was holding someone else's shoulder just a few minutes ago. Don't you think there's something wrong with that too? There's something wrong with his existence itself, so don't mind him. Anyway, come on, stand up, we're going to have some fun. Maybe chan maybe we shouldn't force him. Don't you want to spend some time with him? Of course I do. Okay, an immediate answer. Defendant, do you have anything to say? Though, even if you do, I won't listen to you. If you're not going to listen, then don't even ask. I stand up with a sigh. Oh, don't be such a fucking grumpy little shit, Rin. You are at the beach with Kaid and all these other beautiful girls. And you're just sitting down getting a tan? The fuck is wrong with you? They should throw you in the beach. Well, not in the beach. That might hurt. But in the water. Maybe it won't be a bad idea to have some fun with Kay. Yes, some fun. But isn't this a little hard? Hey! Two against one isn't fair. We're girls. We need some handicaps. You two are the top athletes in our class. Don't complain. Here, Kaid, attack! Y yes, here we go, Rincon. Mayumi tosses the ball perfectly. Kaid jumps up, aiming for the ball with her beautiful arched body. Are they playing volleyball? Her right arm hits the ball with perfect timing, and the ball attacks me. Here! Ugh! Nice receive! What a beautiful and self-satisfying technique. Passing it back on to you, Rick. That was a great pass, Steve. Let's see that in replay. Slow mo, Rick. <laughs> the ball flies into the air. Too bad. The ball comes down from Mayumi's hand and attacks my defenseless face. Oh, jeez. I won't let you win. Oh, he's back up. The ball keeps attacking me, but I receive every one of the attacks using my beautiful techniques. Look at that beautiful technique, Rick! I saw it, Steve. The ball is in the air. It's up in the air at the perfect height for the perfect attack. If there's someone to hit it, Rick, I think you know who it's gonna be. The ball keeps falling to the beach. Okay, one more point for us. Are, are you okay, Rincon? I don't think I can keep my keep up physically or mentally. Oh, God, Rin! <sighs> you sound like a sow. Come on, here we go. I just told you I can't keep up. Well, that is not what we want to hear in bed with Kaid. Jeez. Whoa. <laughs> Please. Study the meaning of making allowance for... You must always do your best. That's in my mother's will. Your mother's dead? Of 
course not. She's alive and well. She just wrote that in her will. She showed it to me the other day. Wait, you're not supposed to show it to people. Oh, I don't know. I thought you weren't supposed to show your will to people until, well, obviously you're dead. Can I write a will to myself? I'll put slaughter the opponent. Could you say something, Kate? But I think it's rude to make allowance for the opponent. You too, huh? What's the point of playing beach volleyball so seriously anyway? Don't people usually just have fun while trying not to drop the ball? That's not serious enough. It's not supposed to be serious. Please, somebody, tell, tell her this is just for fun. I feel the evening breeze and it feels chilly on my tired body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sunlight Way is usually packed with students in uniform, but since it's during the summer vacation, it looks very different. However, there are club activities and the pool is open, so you can still see some students in uniforms. But the numbers go down drastically. As I look while walking, I find a familiar figure. A long blonde hair hides her back. Her skinny legs are moving rhythmically. That walk and the blonde hair belong to... Kariha Senpai? Oh, Rinsan, what a coincidence to see you here. As she turns to me, she claps once in front of her chest. How unusual for you to be alone. Are you shopping for baking ingredients? No, not today. Actually, it's almost my sister's birthday, so I'm here to find her a present. Do you have a sister? No, I was just kidding when I said that, you fucking idiot. <sighs> yes, she'll be entering Verbena Academy next year. I'll be graduating this year, so we won't be attending at the same time. Aw, oh, that sucks. If you don't mind, please look after her. If it's your sister, of course, I'd be more than happy to. Actually, there'd be plenty of guys who'd volunteer to look after her. There are many fans of Korea Senpai, of course, there's her fan club too. If it's her sister, I can easily imagine how beautiful she must be. As I try to picture her sister's face in my mind, Korea Senpai looks into my face as if she just brought off... As if she just thought of something. By the way, are you free today? No, I cost $8.50 an hour. Me? No, the person behind you. Who did you fucking think I was talking to? Oh my god. Sure, I don't have anything. Great. Could you please hang out with me then? I can't decide what to get. Who, me? I'm not good at picking a present. Plus, there have been a few guys who have tried to hit on me, so I've been feeling a little uneasy. I see. I guess it's not easy being beautiful. I have that problem every day. It's, it's a tough world, man. It's a tough world being beautiful. Cade used to have the same problem. Guys used... Guys used to come over to her whenever she was by herself. I don't think I'll be that much of a help picking a present, though. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, then. Let's have fun today. With a smile on her face, Korea Senpai tangles her arm with mine. I feel her boobs too. <laughs> boobs. She looks very slender. They aren't as voluptuous as us as Senpais, but... They are still voluptuous nonetheless. Voluptuous. Mmm. Good word. Voluptuous. Mmm. Ah, what's with this arm? Asa-chan told me to do this when I walk with a guy. Oh my. Aren't you a little too naive, Korea senpai You shouldn't believe any everything you hear. I don't think of her as someone special, but when she does something like this, I don't know what to think. 
My heart is pumping as if I'm on my first date. On the other hand, Korea Senpai is smiling happily without knowing what I'm going through. <laughs> this is the first time for me to walk like this with a guy. It's like we're on a date. Oh jeez, Korea don't how carefree she is. <laughs> yes, I'm with you. Make sure that picture doesn't change to Korea Senpai. <laughs> oh, I'm home. I'm home. Gosh, it's hot. Japanese summer is scary. It's night time and I just went out to get something to drink. Yet, I'm soaked in sweat. What's the point of getting something to drink? As I try to peel off the shirt that's stuck on my skin, I walk into the house. Ah, <sighs> thank God for air conditioning. As I enjoy, enjoy the cool air on my whole body, I sit on the chair. Oh, that sounded good. I open the can of juice I just got and pour it down my throat. When my body gets satisfied, don't forget to swallow. For being cooled from the inside, I sit back in the chair. You can't just pour the juice down your throat without swallowing. The cool air from the air conditioning cools down my body heat. This feels like heaven, but... <laughs> the yawns, oh, the yawns. I don't like the idea of still wearing the sweat-soaked shirt on me. I thought you just took it off. Maybe I'll take a shower and change. I leave the living room and get the change of clothes and head to the bathroom. Oh, shit. Looks like we, uh, sorry I intruded there, um, okay. Uh, uh, run, come on. Uh, well, yes. I mean, this is simply an accident, which is not unusual if we live together. The fact that it didn't happen in the past 10 years is almost like a miracle. <laughs> that, that, that's right. I want you to know that this is an accident. I, I know. So, uh, and... Yes. I'm sorry, I'll close it now. Oh, okay, I'm going to. As I scream to apologize, I shut the door to the bathroom with all of my strength. Even if the door is closed, if I'm in here, there's no difference, huh? No. I'm truly sorry! <laughs> I jump out from the bathroom and run to the living room. Oh my god, not only did I see her change, I was stupid enough to close the door with me still in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, shit. Rin Tsuchimi's biggest mistake in his life. I wouldn't call that a mistake. But I've seen Kaid naked a few times before. Ooh, you have? Although it was when we were kids and it was before she held the grudge on me. Anyway, she sure has matured. <laughs> I wonder what size they are. They look pretty big. <laughs> no, no, this isn't good. I shouldn't think things like that. But she looked great. No, I can't think that way. I don't know if I can go to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, Ren. Well, I guess we managed to get to sleep. A school day during summer break. Shut up, phone. Who came up with this idea? Right? Jeez. It occurs right in the middle of the break. What if it's purpose? What is its purpose? I see some who are tanned and also some who haven't changed a bit. Anyway, all the students are here. Yep, like that guy over there. He still has no face. If you don't show up, the teacher will show up at your house. So, I guess we don't have a choice. <laughs> What's 
run. You seem out of it. What? Oh, no, no, no. She turns red and leaves as if she's running away. Is she angry about yesterday? After what happened, I felt awkward, so I stayed in my room. Maybe I should apologize one more time. Did you do something you have to apologize? No, it was just an accident. Hmm. I'd love to hear more details. It's actually very simple. Okay. Then... When did you show up? Oh, please don't mind us. Okay, so what did you do? Go away! <laughs> Good. At least you're all here and you all seem to be doing well. I don't mind you enjoying your summer, but please don't do anything that's against the law. Right, Mudariva? Excuse me, but I think there's someone else who's more at risk than I am. That one is over and above the law, but in your case, I'm afraid you might get involved with the daughter of a mafia or something. Don't worry, I've already taken care of that problem. I don't mind you enjoying your summer, but please don't do anything that's against the law, especially Mitariba. It's Suki Mitariba. We shouldn't underestimate him. As long as I see you all doing well, that's fine with me. I bet you all have fun plans while putting off your assignment for later. Okay, you're free to go. Everyone, make sure you stay well for the rest of the summer. That's all it was for? Miss B! Speech ends the day. The classroom becomes noisy all of a sudden. Let's go home, Cade. Wait, what? Talking to herself? Uh, yes. Do you have anything you have to get today? I'll go with you. No, not today. Oh! As Kay tried to catch up with me, her feet get tangled. She falls onto the floor while grabbing onto me. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, hey. Ah, ouch. Are you okay, Kay? Y yes. She's cute. She's not too bad either. These two can get out of the picture. Just cut the picture. Just and there we go. Yep, that's a good picture right there. She doesn't sound okay at all, but she gets up. Kade's surprise voice comes out from her little mouth. I wonder what we can fit in that little mouth. No! 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 Don't even think of those thoughts. Bad panda. Bad. Bad panda. I guess she used my body as a pillow. Cade is on top of me and gazing at me. Cade? Cade's face is inches away from mine. Her dewy eyes are seeing my face. I hear our classmates making a fuss, ignoring such commotion. Kay continues to gaze at me. Uh, her red lips open. They move, but don't make any sound. I see them getting closer to me. What? Then I feel a soft sensation. Oh! Mm -hmm. It seems like all the noise from the classroom was sucked in by something. In the silent space, I can only feel the sensation of Kay's lips. I don't know how much time has passed. I don't even know if it was just for a few seconds or a few minutes. I just don't know. But Kaid's face parts slowly from mine after a certain length of time. Kaid is still gazing at me with such a sweet expression, as if she's dreaming. Kaid. I think she now realizes what she has done. She turns red and tries to speak. I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. She runs out from the classroom as she screams. Her classmates and I are left in the classroom, not knowing exactly what just happened. 
Hmm. I'm not really sure what happened either. Oh, what a day. The investigational meeting was simply a psychological torture. News of the incident spread around the campus very quickly and the fans of Kaid grilled me good. Unlike a normal trial, this type is influenced very much by emotions, so of course, I didn't have any allies. It'll be hell when the new semester begins. But why did Kaid do such a thing? I already know how she feels about me, but Kaid was always modest about her position while knowing that I know about her feelings. In Mayumi's opinion, what that's what makes Kaid lovable and sweet, but why did she act so aggressively all of a sudden? Well, she was on top of you. She used you as a pillow. What happened inside of her? I don't know. Pro you're probably going to find out tonight. Does what happened yesterday have anything to do with this? Did having Sia or Narin around make her think differently? I'm home. I see Kaid's shoes by the front door. She must be home. How should I act? It was such an embarrassing action for Kaid, considering her feelings. Maybe it's better not to see her. And with that, I'm going to call that an episode, because that is in fact an episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I certainly did. We actually got some action. Yes! And uh, anyway, guys, I will see you next part. Bye.